What's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash with Eric. Today we're taking a look at the Town Hall 10 Mass Baby Dragon Queen Charge Attack. This attack, while it looks really, really fancy, it's actually fairly easy to perform. And I'm gonna show you how to do that today. We're gonna go show a couple attacks here just to run over the basic ideas and then we're gonna hit one live. So make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, let's get right into the action. All right, guys, let's dive into Mr. Tommy's attack here where he came in with 14 baby dragons, a queen charge, and basically an entire spell arsenal to support the queen walk. This attack is very, very queen walk focused, and so it's important that she goes into the base. You have plenty of baby dragons to work with to really solidify that funnel. You have plenty of spells to get her into the base. Usually I don't like to rely on wall breakers because a wall break fail during this attack could really cause a lot of problems because the attack is so reliant on the queen charge. So I like to stick to jumps, earthquakes, and push her into the base here. He used four earthquakes on this one. The nice advantage of using the earthquakes is it damages all the buildings around and increases how fast she's moving through the base. So you need generally three rages to push her through. One while you're taking the initial push into the base, two while you're fighting the CC, and a third one while you're fighting the queen. After that, you generally have had a chance to thin out most of the defenses enough that you can be able to push through. Here he uses his king to push the queen into the base as well, using him as a funneling tool. He takes out the enemy king, which also has the added benefit of making so that he doesn't need a rage for the enemy king. And so that's a really nice touch. And then, see this archer tower here? He could have put a baby dragon onto the archer tower and reduced the damage off of the queen and off of the healers because it was kind of beating on him the entire time. So he's just waiting for that queen to work his way into the base and then he sends in a slammer after the final air defense and preferably a backside inferno if he can get to it. Then he just kind of sprinkles baby dragons around the base and they start picking off everything and he has a couple balloons going with that slammer, those high level balloons with a haste to get them through to the inferno whenever he wants to use it there. Maybe he'll hold it. Uh, looks like he's gonna hold it for a little bit and he'll probably use it to get through a wizard tower a little bit later on. I think, uh, yeah, there it is. There it is. Going into the wizard tower so we can get to the bomb tower. The queen will take down the expo and he shoots right into the wizard tower without taking any splash damage. So nice touch. And the baby dragons just sprinkle around the base there. He has two left in the tank. Just be patient with them. Don't let them clump up if you can help it. They will start to clump up after they start taking stuff down. But on their initial placement, make sure they're not clumped up and they can sweep around and continue clearing out a lot of defenses. So. Nice attack here by Mr. Tommy. Losing a baby dragon to some black mines and such there, but overall they have enough punch to make it through no problem. And you don't really have to worry about cleanup because baby dragons are so versatile as a troop that if the queen has a path that she can take out multiple air defenses like that, then you could definitely bring it in. So very, very nice attack. We got one more to look at and then we're gonna hit a live war attack. So stick around to the end. All right, guys, next up we got Demon Slayer coming in here, and he's got 13 baby dragons, and he's got the Slammer, same setup. He's got four Earthquakes, he's got three Rages, but he brought a Freeze instead of a Haste, so we'll see exactly what he wants to do here. He wants to make an entry here and go in after all of these air defenses. They're all kind of clumped up here, so he has all these Earthquakes, and he can open up all of the walls there. So probably drop the Earthquakes between the Expo and the... Uh, air defense here and you look probably wall break here just to have a straight shot into the base so going in with the baby dragons to form that funnel the dragons are an awesome funneling troop and you got plenty to spare so don't let that queen walk on you make sure she goes into the base and use the baby dragons as needed he has a tesla farm pop on him he's under some heavy heavy fire right off the bat he pops his queen ability to protect that queen to make sure that she goes in you cannot let the queen go down if the queen goes down the raid is done so the queen is going to go in and he sends in the wall breakers he gets a test wall breaker down but the just the building that those wall breakers were initially targeting at was destroyed so they went to a different spot and hit a small bomb so we had to adjust here so he throws down the earthquakes and he gets the base opened up now he has access to all four air defenses and the once again the added benefit of having the earthquakes is all the buildings there are now at low health so the queen can move much quicker through them and get through the base i personally i like the jumps depend on how far you need to go but if you can open up everything you need to access with just the earthquakes then you can move through them very, very quickly. He pops a rage when that uh, baby, or when the hound pops, I mean, and he uses a baby dragon to help clean up behind it. Maybe a couple of minions could have done the trick there too, but 
Baby Dragons is what he has in his army, so that's what he's gonna use and utilize the most. He actually takes a, a black mind with that Baby Dragon, which now worked out perfectly and saved one of his healers there. In comes the Slammer from the top side. Now watch how much this Slammer gets as it moves through the base. It's under no air defense fire, so it can just kind of sweep through and start just picking everything off over here. He has this Archer Tower that's getting missed, so he drops a couple balloons on it and makes sure it goes down. So this, uh, those balloons are there to pick off straggling defenses to Baby Dragons in tow. The Queen's still moving through the base. She's going to, under, under that rage, going to step up and take down that last air defense on the base, and she can't quite reach the enemy queen there, so she's just going to have to work her way around and about. So the baby dragons have now encircled the base, going after every single uh, opening on the base there and trying to get to the defenses that are closest to them. This uh, minion here was kind of a bad idea, unfortunately. I think it was started on the town hall at the very, very beginning of the attack and ultimately ended up making that baby dragon lose its rage. So he had to wait for that baby dragon to die and the minion to die before he could drop another baby dragon. Looks like that baby dragon decided to go after that uh, Tesla and was able to take it down. And look at the big old group of baby dragons that are going over there by the queen. They're not quite going to get her down here. They do have to send in more baby dragons after, but he wants to wait for the queen to finish her off but she is at low enough health there that his queen can make it through this one came up really really close here for demon slayer i think if he had the wall break then he could have maybe made it through a little bit further the base i'm not sure but either way baby dragon swoops in at the end takes out the multi inferno and the wizard tower bringing in the win and a nice six pack in this war by demon slayer so now let's go plan one out real quick and then i will attack one live and we'll see if we can get a mass baby dragon queen charge of myself. So let's do it. All right guys, here's the base that we're gonna be attacking today. So this is the basic idea that I have for this base. Let's first check out where the air defenses are. We have air defenses here, 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 and here. So we need to choose a queen charge path that can reach all of them or at least most of them. They're a little bit spread out here. So I'm gonna bring two jumps to make sure that I can get across the base and reach them. So I'm thinking if I go in after these two first, then I'll be able to take out the enemy CC, get the sweepers. And then if the queen decides that she's gonna take some of the funky there, then I will have the the slammer come in and work on these over here. Ideally, I want the queen to cross the base and go all the way to the other air defenses. So we'll start her over in this corner here and I'll use a baby dragon to clear out the funnel right here. That'll put the queen here and she'll wrap around that corner there and I will use the king out in front of her to go through and clear all of this trash here. So that should get the queen into the base, but she needs to use the jump. I don't want the jump to open up too much of the base there or it might cause her to go in the wrong direction. She can reach the inferno over the wall from this compartment. So I just need to get her into that compartment and she will protect her healers as she moves through the base. So we'll put a jump down right on this intersection right here to jump into the expo air defense compartment. That will take out basically everything in that area. This expo is gonna be fired on her the entire way through, so I want to ideally start my slammer after the queen moves through to go in after the expo and a couple balloons to go in here and start to clear that way around the base there as the queen is moving through. So continuing on with that queen path there, after she clears out everything in this area here, she will continue by putting a jump spell maybe here and then that'll give her access to the last two air defenses, the last inferno and the wizard tower and be able to push all the way through. Then as the slammer is moving through, oops, the slammer is moving through, then it, it's gonna be wrapping around the base there. We'll throw in a couple of balloons to go with it. I have a hound and a couple of balloons that will go in and uh, depending on exactly where the queen is, the, the hound may go to this air defense here, which is fine because it'll tank for the balloons that are gonna be coming out of the slammer right around that area. And we'll be able to snipe these arch towers off with the balloons. Then there's a Tesla farm over here. So we'll drop some baby dragons into it. We'll sprinkle baby dragons all around the perimeter and make sure that there's nothing left and basically it's just going to be an overpowering queen charge with a small law loon and a whole lot of baby dragons to overwhelm anything that survives that so let's go hit this live and see if we can bring in this triple all right guys troops are all cooked let's go hit this live let's do all right here we go going live in three two one we're live all right so start off with the queen Get her down to take that archer tower, put those healers far off to the left so they don't go through the inferno over in the air defense when we wrap around the corner. Baby dragon just needs to clear out the gold mine there, work its way around. We have extra baby dragons to reinforce it if we need to. Okay, so far so good. 
Queen's not under any damage. We have three rages to push her through if we need to. So we'll wait for her to go the right direction. Okay, looks like she is going to go the right direction. We'll start this king out ahead. You can start clearing the trash. All right. Nice and smooth. Let's get the... Let's get a rage down, and we'll put that rage a little bit out ahead of her. Just to make sure she steps into it with the healers. Perfect on that first jump. Let's keep moving. Watch that king. Make sure he's gonna use his ability when he gets, before he gets too low. Get that poison down. Get another rage down. King ability. Alright. Get ready for the slammer. Not yet, though. Uh, we want to take the, down the queen first. So we'll get another rage ready for the queen. We'll snipe off the wizard tower with the baby dragon there. Get ready for a rage. Now. It actually gets through the queen. Get our jump down to get to the backside inferno. And we're far enough through to start the slammer. We'll get the balloons in to snipe off the mortar there. And the slammer move through the base a little bit. We're getting ready for this hound. Go after the archer towers with the hound. Couple more baby dragons down. All right. Direct target the archer towers. Get the baby dragons into the Tesla farm. Oh, put those baby dragons a little bit too close to each other. Put a baby dragon on the town hall. Queen's doing some good work there. She's going to take down one more air defense. Uh, the Hound popped a little early. I think I released the Hound just a little bit early. Slammer is going to help out that Tesla. We don't have a use the Queen ability. We're still completely safe with her. We have uh, another baby dragon. We'll put that on the mortar. And it uh, looks like it's a slaughter, guys. Looks like it's slaughter. We'll have the Queen ability here to get through the enemy king. And there we go. Easy day. Got the three star. And not a six pack for me this war. I did fail my other attack with uh, Electron, but that's gonna be it for today, guys. Make sure you go out there, try Mass Baby Dragon Queen Charge, and I'll see you guys in the next one.